hello 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 hi all my beautiful subscribers welcome back to my channel i am shay what's up 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 okay so i am here to do weekend energy i think i was going to do a mercury retrograde reading but i think i'm gonna have to save that um just uh, maybe tomorrow or something like that that might be the f i don't know i don't know I don't know, but I know I'm going to do one. So I don't know exactly when I'm going to do it, but I just want to hop into the weekend energy real quick. Make this video short, sweet, cute, and simple, hopefully. Because, <laughs> you know, every time I say I'm going to make something short, sweet, cute, and simple, it'd be 30 minutes long. Okay, so let's hop right in. I do want to use this deck if I see the book in my eyesight. Do I see the book? Do I see the book? Do I see the book? Nope, nope, nope. Yes, I, do. I see the book okay so spirit what messages do y'all want to collect it for the next 24 to 48 hours working in their highest good for their highest favor ask for messages full of unconditional love life truth, clarity and healing understanding all that what messages do you have for the collective this is a spirit message okay overall energy for this weekend next 24 to 48 hours for the collective energy i don't want that i'm sorry you guys but i don't collective energy please okay um for those of you guys who read tarot play with tarot cards cleanse your cleanse your tarot cards i think i'll make a post about this on my group someone's really needing to cleanse their tarot cards their crystals or something okay Cause it's just a lot of cards coming out at once i know you guys can't tell but it's like three cards coming look it's like three cards coming okay give me one card please okay i said one they gave me two okay heighten your vitality is here at the bottom of the deck well let's just see what the overall energy is heighten your vitality and amplify your positive emotions which is the same thing okay so we have number 29 also, look, be gentle with yourself and vulnerability. I feel like right now you're at a vulnerable space in your time and you're in your you're going through something. OK, you need to be mentally, physically, spiritually, spiritually, emotionally, financially. You're still going through something and you need to be gentle with yourself. Whatever it is you're going back and forth about, whatever it is you're contemplating about. It's time for nothing. It's time for something new. OK, you've you've created something so beautiful already. And understand what you've created it's time for you to use all this wisdom this knowledge to go in a new direction okay um but let's just see what this contemplation is about enjoy your own company this is a wonderful time for you to recognize and to and to consider the things you enjoy most in your life make a point of spending a little time allowing your mind to wander away from the everyday concerns that occupy your time give yourself an opportunity to be inspired ruminate on your inner voice and listen to your own counsel okay so for those of you guys who are seeking outside guidance or seeking outside counsel now is the time for you to really do some self-reflecting like again like i said with this leap of faith card here it's time for you to go in a new direction i also feel like whatever you've been whatever seeds you've been planting whatever it is that you've been manifesting or whatever it is your heart's desire it's time for you to go towards that um because d here she holds the wand she holds the crystal wands like your wish will be granted um, the second you take a leap of faith and understand that no matter no matter what happens, you are supported and protected. You will be your 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 steps are covered. You you can it's like I don't know. It's like um, if you fall, spirit will catch you. Because all, all the work, all the foundations, all everything that you've put your time, your energy, your effort into. It's like, even though you don't see this, um, even though you don't feel like this is true, but this is true. Okay. But we have this leap of faith here with this number 22. Okay. And I also feel like this is a portal opening up because you have nine plus two, which is 11. 
and that's a number two with 22. So um, obviously there is some type of need for balance and type of structure. But it says, see, this is a chance to create something wonderful. You are in a transition period where you need to draw on your faith, intuition and knowledge and take the leap. You will not fail. You will not fail. You have a safety, a safety net of support in, in place. You will uh, you will overcome your fear and find a beautiful outcome is on the horizon. This leap of faith is the best course of action at this time. If you do not make a if you do make a mistake, you have the ability to try again and learn from what you, what did not work the first time. All signs indicate that if you trust, you will succeed. Jump head first into the void of the unknown. Even if you eventually fall for a while, you will soar. You understand? So even if you did make a mistake, your mistake will be you gliding into your, your, you will soar. You'll be flying like an ego. You get what I'm saying? And when you need rest, you'll go back down. You'll ground yourself. You'll, 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 um, uh, you'll introspect. You'll, you'll reflect and then you will take action again. And, and this is just saying, don't hold back. Don't allow yourself to be in that energy of fear. Don't allow fear or anything to hold you back to, for, for with that. It says, see, this is a chance to create something wonderful. You are in a transition period where you, go, where you need to draw on your faith, intuition, knowledge, and take the leap. You will not fail. You have a safety net of support in place. The safety net. But this to me is also all the things that all this is all your lessons, your trials, your tribulations. You've gotten this far to know and understand that anything that you do, it will not perish, period. OK, Um. if you make a mistake, you have the ability to try again. No, nope, that's not what I was reading. You have a safety net and support. You will overcome fear and a beautiful outcome is on the horizon period it's on the horizon so what are you afraid of um let's look into it what is the collective what does the collective need to surrender to this weekend obsessive thinking give me one more and procrastination man hello Surrender to the habit of people pleasing. Okay. Okay. Same kind of same energy as Thursday or one Wednesday night, whenever I did that reading. But these are your potential blockages. Putting something off, putting something off, putting something off because you think it's not the right time. Because you're scared of of this energy right here. People you're it's not even at this point, you're just scared and worried about how people are going to see you. At this point, you're just scared on whether or not someone is going to accept you. At this point, you're caring about too many people's feelings at one time. At this point. And because you're in this energy of pleasing someone else before you do something, that means that bef whatever it is, is lacking. It could be a person. Maybe, you, maybe you're scared to go towards someone. And the person is lacking on the other end. It could be a job. You you are taking a financial hit because you're not you don't have the courage to go towards what it is you want. You get what I'm saying? Maybe it's time for you to move and you're sitting here in this cluttered um apartment and when you cause because you're scared, you're like, Okay, well what if I don't have enough money to move? And you know that that's the energy. And it's like that's the energy. And it's like take this out of the equation. Take out Who's feel, who else feelings matter and put yours to the forefront. Surrender your comparisons to other people in your soul's path. Okay. You're, you're, you can listen, listen, everybody has their own unique journey. They have their own unique fingerprint. They have their own unique everything. There's no need for you to compare. I feel like some of you guys are in a situation to where you're doing this, like, okay, well, this person does this and this person does that and this person does this and this person, but we built, but you get what I'm saying? This is what you guys are doing. And spirit is saying, why are you comparing, why are you comparing apples to oranges, trying to please someone else and what they want? Okay. This is not about them. It's about you and your soul's growth. This is about you and in the path that you are on. Okay. So it's time to make some moves out here. 
give me one for the blockage for this weekend and then we're going to look into some uh, ox closing blockages for this weekend and discipline guilt and service the service card came out and this is a people pleasing card I feel good when I help others, even though you feel good when you help others. I, I feel like you're trying to uphold an appearance. Um, damn. It's, it, it's like when I also feel like with this discipline card, it's like you need to start. If you say something, you need to follow up behind it. Um, being true to your word. Um, whatever you started to do, don't go back. It's like if you tell somebody, OK, well, I ain't doing X, Y, and Z no more. And then you do it because they start, oh, but, and, you know, like that energy, you get what I'm saying? Or whatever it is that they could be saying. They, then you start feeling bad. You start feeling guilty. And you start helping this person, whoever this is in your life. Just be careful on the energy that you extend because they're using it against you. They're not using it to help you. They're using it to help themselves. And I feel like this is something you already know with this trust card here, but you're not listening to your intuition. And this is why you keep um, going around in circles when it comes to your abundance, your happiness, and your peace. Because you're needing to balance out this situation. You're still needing to set up healthy boundaries um, within the situation as foundation. Um, knowing that... It's like you keep giving into a situation with this guilt card, helping out somebody, um, belling their ass out, being there. You're being their enabler at this point. You're giving, you're, stop making, okay, stop making excuses for people who don't make excuses for you, period. Ain't no excuses. But whatever this is, they're trying to hold on to whatever little bit that they can because something is over with this death card here and then you have denial and then you have regret and this is something that you're in denial about and yeah both of you guys have regrets about decisions that you could have made and maybe um what this is something that you're in you're not accepting this you don't see this this is something that you don't see you don't see this because I don't know why you don't see this. I don't know why you don't see this collectively. If this is the energy and this is something that's happening, do not allow somebody to take advantage of you because of the history or the past that you guys have. Don't do that. What? What? Don't do that because the regret says, I know that I cannot change the past and and this is why maybe you blame yourself on you guys is not being happy and you guys is uh relationships doing the plummeting you get what i'm saying i don't know i'm you know what i'm stepping out of that but you need to listen to your intuition here period and because i don't even know what i was saying because that just threw me like you're in denial and you're in denial because of things that you've done in the past or not it's like you're in denial because it's like you, you don't want to feel like you're doing them wrong and this is why there's guilt here because maybe in the past you have done them wrong but you're needing to have you're needing to have the confidence and the courage to go towards your happiness look you need to get out of this energy right here. That's that's the doubt. That's this, These are your fears. This is your ego trying to talk to you and try, trying to talk you out of your new beginning, your new start. Look, this is your purpose right here. Um, so don't let your ego get in the way this weekend, especially when it comes to doing things for people, going out of your way, overextending yourself. Don't do that. Don't overextend yourself for a person who wouldn't overextend for you. And they'll make it seem like they will, but they're not. If they will, they, they haven't. If they will, they wouldn't be trying to send you, send you, guilt trip you. They wouldn't be trying to do that. They wouldn't be trying to bring up old shit, past shit, and trying to make you think like, oh, and I've always, no, period. I don't know what that's about, okay? I don't know. But what I do know is when I see this obsessive thinking and when I see this procrastination, you've obviously been putting something off 
for too long. It says if you're obsessing about a person or a situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit. Doing so will help you will help bring clarity to you or even solve the problem. And I feel like when it comes to a specific situation or a person, you get in your thoughts, you get in your heads like, Am I making the right decision? Should I do this? Should I do that? What if this? What if that? And all this energy it's all it is, is just delaying the process. This is building up tension for for something to explode. You get what I'm saying? Especially when you keep procrastinating and putting something off. And I'm also hearing that you don't need to procrastinate and put something off any longer because you may miss your opportunity. How long do you think? How long do you think you have until you miss the opportunity? How many chances do you think you get before you miss the opportunity? And then you're going to be stuck in this situation right here, um, knowing that you've always extended yourself to other people. And then when it's time for them to extend themselves to you, they don't. Um, don't do that. Oh, because it's... Oh. Let me just pull it over our energy. <sighs> Humor. It's time for you to start seeing things from a lighter side, seeing things from a higher perspective, trying to turn. And this this has a lot to do with your thoughts too. look, because the imagination card is here with blame. It's like whatever, whatever this energy is. Don't blame yourself. Don't blame others. Don't allow somebody to project their feelings onto you. This imagine imagination card and in humor is saying that you're needing to change your perspective, your thoughts when it comes to a certain situation. Um, you're needing to look at things from a for on the brighter side like so even if let's say you guys been arguing all week you get what i'm saying try to focus on the lighter side um even if i don't know i don't know but just being more positive and uplifting when it comes to a certain situation and don't get into the energy of allowing someone to blame you or you blame yourself because this isn't healthy and this was and this is what causes the worry okay both of you guys because i feel like this is two people need to work on forgiveness and mm -mm. okay I, I said i was i wasn't about to do this i'm not about to do this with, the, with these blockages cards i'm not about to do this i'm not listen them blaming you them blaming you because the health card is here with the blame them blaming you them like oh and it's your fault or you could have did this or i don't know your situation so just take this part how it resonates but when it comes to the blame whoever's pointing the finger is a person who is the toxic person they're doing that because that's all they have so they can leave you in this energy right here of worry. Like they, they, they play on, they play, they pull, they pull on your string, your heartstrings. You get what I'm saying? And what, what in, in, in all reality, they really, they, they are really a hurt soul. And, and, and yeah, it could have something to do with you, but it has a lot to do with them. It has a lot to do with them not loving themselves and a lot to do with them not feeling fully accepted and a lot to do with them and their family and, and, and they family not accepting them. Like this, this was, this was before you. But because you're in this current situation, this is why they blame you for how they are. And this is a part of them that they need to accept and heal. Um, with this denial card, and then we have failure here as well. They're in denial. This is something that they don't want to accept. They don't want to accept that they're the reason for the failure of this relationship. And it's like for and, and, and you've been waiting too long. You've been waiting so long, it's become a procrastination. It's something that you start to put off. Like, I know I'm not happy, but... I, I'm going to do it tomorrow. Oh, I know I'm not happy, but I'm going to tell her how I feel tomorrow. You get what I'm saying? Like, uh, yeah, this is not a vibe for me. Patience, perseverance, and self-esteem. Listen, I'm about to go off of these cards anyway because I want to do the left portion. But um, it's just, no, I don't know. I don't know what you guys are doing, but y'all need to figure it out. Okay. Now, let's look at some... Let's look at the energy of love this weekend. This weekend, Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective when it comes to love this weekend, next 24 to 48 hours? Building a future. Exciting news. D deeper intimacy. Accountability. Um, in courting okay someone is thinking about their future and they're wanting to express this um you give me butterflies but i feel like this is on this is on hold this is on delay okay because we have building the future and exciting news deeper intimacy 
accountability. Um, someone needs to take accountability for their actions. It may be you or your partner or both. Acknowledging the effect your behavior allows you to move forward. So someone is looking at somebody this weekend like, this is the person I want to be with. I want to be with this person. And they want to tell this person that. The feelings of emotional closeness and love allow you to feel safe, desired, and more connected to your partner. Um, I also feel like there's an energy of someone missing someone. Someone wants to go out on a date. And maybe you guys aren't talking right now. And maybe they're wanting to reconcile with you this weekend. I only say that because we have butterflies, love language, and self-love. Um, someone needed to... It's like when they're around you, they're so happy. They want to be with you. They want to spend all their time with you. But they didn't know their own love language. So they had to learn how to love themselves. So they missed the opportunity with you. Or they're about to miss the opportunity with you because they don't know how to show and express love. And in all actuality, both of you guys, because the slow down card is here, need to slow down. Look, third party situation could possibly be here. This, All this that I just read before this could have a lot to do with this love portion. You understand me? Um, Slow down. You guys are needing to take take it slow. And I feel like maybe this, maybe this is why this person slowed, slowed down because there was a third party situation or they had other things going on within their lives. But they've been trying to communicate with you telepathically and they seek and want your emotional support. Okay, so let's pull some of these romance angels as well. Collective energy. Let your friends help you. Hard to heart conversations. Some somebody is about to have a conversation. Even look at the accountability card. Someone is coming in like, oh, you know what? I know I fucked up, but I miss you. I miss being intimate with you. I miss talking to you. I want you around. Um, with this courting card, I want to go out. Let's go on a date. They're trying to set something up. They could be trying to surprise you this weekend, too, with this exciting news and building a future. They're trying to surprise you. I feel like they're keeping a lot of things from you that they're not telling you. And this is why a lot of the times they feel they they feel to you. They feel like withdrawn, held back. Um, ooh, that was free yourself. And maybe this person needs to free themselves from a situation. Shit. Or again, this person didn't know how to show and give love because they've never they've never received it. Oh, you guys could be texting flirting this weekend because heart to heart conversations and flirt is here, which are let your friends help you. So you guys could be just like, you know, flirting, doing y'all thing this weekend. Um, forgiving and learning. Give me one more. Thank you. Okay. Now what happened was this person, they were going through some things and this is why forgiving and learning is here. They were going through some things. They were going through some things with someone or they could have just been, you know, doing whatever they was doing on their own. Right. But this person always kept you on the back of their mind, especially with this honeymoon card and romantic feelings. I guess I don't know if you guys spend some time with each other. They always reminisce and think about how you make them feel. And they've always been keeping you on the back of their mind. Look, I felt the reconciliation release an ex baby. Listen, I'm not read my cards, period. OK, um, what's this? quality time look somebody wants to spend quality time with you divine union they want to bring this situation shit back together maybe you guys have been apart for quite some time and now they're like damn i really miss her i want to make i want to make love okay i want to make love to you i don't know who that song is is that chris brown or something all night, dance you with me. All night. no that's two different songs that's two different songs well, if y'all know the song, please drop it in the comment section. I'm, I'm going to figure it out. All night. Um, but, but this person is wanting to spend time with you because they're looking at you as their divine carnal part. Congratulations. It's time to celebrate. Both you and your partner have healed and learned the important lessons to allow this uni union to finally manifest. And I feel like you guys have been going back and forth. And that's why there's accountability that needs to be had. Someone is finally owning up and stepping into their divine feminine or, their, or their, the divine masculine. And they had to go through this. Both of you guys had to learn. You guys had to learn how to forgive and love each other and learn each other and learn how to love each other. And that could have been re the reason why the, um, the self-love card was there with the love language. You guys were learning each other's love language the whole time. Now this person... 
knows how to love and now they want to come back and offer it to you this is something that they could be hiding from you like i said look you have exciting news here and you have engagement with deception this could be something that they're hiding from you they, they could be hiding that they want a new start you get what i'm saying so just take this part how it resonates attraction love yourself and handling family issues and maybe this person um had and, and maybe someone was working on family issues, which is why they took a long time for them to come back. I'm not sure. That ain't not my business. Let me keep it kicking. Because I don't even feel like I was supposed to read that. Okay, so. Anywho. Look, the deception card is here. Let's break down this deception card. Spirit, why is the deception card here? Look, the sun. This is truth coming out about, about them hiding their feelings and emotions from you. About why they really, why they pull back. Why is the deception card here? telling you the truth is about to be exposed honey why is this deception card here okay the deception card is here because they're not telling you that they've really been healing and working on themselves. They're not telling you that. This four of swords here with the justice, with the eight of cups, they're not telling you that they're walking towards their happiness. This person in this card is walking towards the sun. And guess what? Guess what we saw? We saw the sun. Okay. They're walking towards their, their truth, their clarity, their understanding. Look, they, they're, they learned how to cut off things that's no longer served them with that king of swords. Look, they, they've learned how to wrap this situation up and maybe they were caught in some kind of type of karmic cycle with that devil card there. But the two of cups is here at the bottom of the, uh, at the under that the two of cups is there because they kept you on their mind okay and that's you guys connection to divine union so listen damn that's beautiful that is beautiful hmm. i don't even think ready for love look now somebody is ready for love they're ready to come and communicate they're ready to talk about it let me see over our message here we have ready for love Ooh, -oh. overall message is it's a breakup break up and make a move watching out okay and they could it, it, because they went through some type of recent breakup or separation or what so have you th they couldn't make the moves that they wanted to make because someone has been watching them um you have sweet songs soulmates often use music and songs as a telepathic aid and i don't know if you've been listening to this type of music or whatever but they've been definitely trying to communicate with you um spiritually i also feel like I also feel like there's a lot of fear when it comes to you in this relationship um on their end you know because they just went through all this they just went through all this somebody is definitely on the watch side you got some type of stalker this is a warning message be aware of gossip envy jealousy someone or something is trying to stand in the way of this connection so be careful here because you have somebody that's really bitter about how this shit just went down break up make a move and this is why this person hasn't made a move because they already know this person you get what i'm saying so just be careful this weekend okay so i'm gonna wrap that up um let's pull an angel answer mm, do i want angel answer mm, hmm. nope best advice for this weekend for the collective what's the best advice Give me one more. Thank you. Okay, you have the nine of water. The nine of cups is says your wish comes true. Concerns fade away. A love life. So when it comes to love, happiness, success, emotional fulfillment, your wish is finally coming true. You're needing to go with this. Whatever this is for you. Whatever you've been wishing for, hoping for. You're needing to go towards this. Don't hold back. The moon. I knew I felt it. Don't hold back because your own fears and insecurities with that moon card there. There's a lot of things that's going on behind the scenes. You guys could have unexpected news messages coming towards you with this moon and the night of fire. This could be some things going on behind the scenes that you don't know about. And you're going to be you're going to kind of be cold shoulder and quick to cut this person off just because of the past um, situations you guys been in with that queen, of, that queen of swords and five of air. Just be careful. OK, be careful. Pay attention. We are in Mercury retrograde. OK. So, um, not everything that's coming towards you is, is bad. So be very careful. Okay. So we have the seven of air. It says plans, plans that need revision more going on. That meets the eye, the moon, that's that moon energy more going on than meets the eye. 
plans any revision more going on is that needs to eye poor timing and you guys could be looking at this like this is just bad timing but it's not it's the perfect time okay you're just needing to revise you're needing to go back to the drawing board and figure out how it is you're going to move forward because you have the full here a leap of faith follow your dreams un unexpected opportunities and then you have the five of earth so it's like you're feeling if you're feeling some type of lack thereof or if you're feeling like any it's like you're needing to step out of this energy because this is your fear and at the bottom, it says fear surrounding money, the wisdom to accept help from others, uncertain self-employment. Maybe you guys who have fears around some type of money situation, financial situation shit. Um, but what so have you? It's time for you to go into a new direction with this full car energy. Um, a leap of faith. Follow your dreams. Guess what? You have a leap of faith twice. It's time for you to go into a new direction. Plans need, a bit, plans need revision. More going on than meets the eye. Okay. So but for those of you, some of you guys needed to know that. So some of you guys need to step out of that self-sabotage energy because um, I feel like they're th th because you want more. You get what I'm saying? So spirit is saying there are some things going on behind the scenes that you're unaware of. And there is a new start coming because there's been some cycles that has been wrapped up. OK, so I'm going to leave you guys there. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Look. Not a, not a water. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend, Chariot. This person is coming in after ending a cycle. I just said it. Okay, thank you. I just seen three, uh, 31, 11. So um, I don't know that if that means anything for anybody, but I hope you guys have a great weekend because falling in love or wedding proposals, the need to balance emotions and invitation to a social event. Okay, so maybe while you guys are out, you might, yeah, me might meet someone or something. You guys got good news coming. I hope you guys have a great, fantastic weekend. Be fucking great.